Hi, I'm Jamie Rickers, and we're here in suburbia for this episode of Toyology.tv. Now, I've heard that they're pretty hot for Hasbro toys around here, so let's go and have a snoop about. See, I always knew three of me would come in handy. Six ears are always better than two, which is just as well, because I can hear one heck of a racket coming from over there. Let's check out what all the fuss is about. Hi, I'm Mia. Uh. Hi, and I'm Luca. Uh. What are you playing with, lads? We're playing with a ricochet stunt vehicle. Any good? Yeah, they're awesome. Watch this. Run your Tonka Ricochet RC stunt vehicle low to the ground for speed. Flip it over, activate that monster lift suspension and you can take on just about anything. The Ricochet is a rechargeable RC packed with loads of wow factor. So guys, marks it out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. And what was your favourite bit? Um, so when you turn it over, it's a different colour. Yeah. And the suspension, it can move up and down when you press a button. It was pretty cool, huh? What about you? Marks out of 10? 10 out of 10. Woo! Top marks! Favourite bit? My favourite bit is when it does donuts and when it does skids. So you can really start burning some rubber? Yeah. Great stuff. But Tonka's not just about toys for kids and big kids, or really big kids. There's stuff for all age ranges. So let's have a look at some stuff that's for some little tiny peeps. Well, I've got to say, this looks uh, far less speedy than the Ricochet stunt cars. It certainly is. Well, it might be a bit less speedy, but by no means is it any less fun. This is Tonka's Chuck and Friends. This is for younger truck fans, four plus. And is this one of those modular toys where you can add as much as you want or take away as much as you want? Yeah, the whole thing is called the Power Play Yard system. So is there any other merchandise that relates to Tonka, Chuck and Friends, or is it just the parts? You know what's great? Each one of these sets comes with a really cute book, so you have a little story behind each one of the characters in all of them. Okay, so this sets. one is a uh, Chuck Stunt Park, uh, Rowdy's Trash Crash. They're all separate stories. And Bloom and Slippin' Farish, yep. which you mentioned earlier on. And there's a website to support that as well. Yeah, it is. So, Chuckandfriends.com. So apart from this, what else have we got in the Tonka range? Oh, fantastic. You've got to come and take a look at this stuff. What is it? Tonka Mod Machines. Mod Machines is the way forward. So these are the Mod Machines. Why Mod? You can modify them, they're modular, you can interchange the parts, like, like swap what, and change. But it's all these different cars in the range. The DX5 you've got there are the smaller vehicles. Right. You've got the DX9. Yep. And this one. The Master Truck DX14. So what do you do? You take the, the, take the wheels off, take the tyres off, take the roofs off? Put the wheels back on, put the tyres back on. Take one off, have one set of wheels, have double wheel sets, take the tops off, switch these bits around, put this bit on that car, that bit on this car. This one can tow these, that bit can go on here. Just swap them around. Little tool you get with each one. Right now, though, it's time to move on from a brand new car to a little silver car that has monopolised the industry for over 75 years. It is, of course, Monopoly. <laughs> Welcome to Monopoly Revolution. Now tell me, has Monopoly Revolution revolutionised Monopoly? It hasn't changed it completely, but there are some elements that have changed. You might have noticed it's now circular. Hence the word revolution. Indeed. Let me take you over to Old Kent Road, for example. £600,000. Hyperinflation. Let me take you over to Mayfair. Four million. <laughs> take a look at income tax. And two a million. Parking is still free, however. Is it? Another element that's changed. Central console. No more cash. Plastic debit card for each player which you plug in and it'll debit or credit your card accordingly as to what space you've hit or whether you need to pay income tax. Or when you pass go... What happens now when you pass go? You still get a little bit of money, but it'll play you a tune. One of many from the last seven and a half decades, but it'll credit your card. Can Sorry. you now Can you now cheat, though? Can you hide any money up your sleeve or anything? No way of doing it, absolutely not at all. <laughs> Fred! No. But what about the iconic figures? Are they still the same or have they, you know, changed those to, uh, you know, roll the laser? No, they're still here. No, pretty much the same. So we've still got the dog, the boots, the car, the top hat. Well done, Jamie. Good, eh? I can point and speak at the same time. 
Fantastic. Now, has Monopoly done anything special in the last 75 years? It's done loads of special things. Broken a couple of records. Go on. Uh, longest game, 70 days straight. Non-stop? Absolutely. <laughs> wow. And the longest game in a bathtub. Really? 99 hours. In a bathtub? Yeah, it wasn't a family game. <laughs> it wasn't. It was a bit cold after a while. Yeah. Over 220 odd million sets have been sold over the last 75 years. Right. It's produced in 37 different languages. So financial battles all over the world. Everybody's at it. So it must be one of the biggest board games in the world ever. One of the best known and the most iconic, I'd say. Fantastic. Well, I think it's time to move on from a financial battle to a battle of skill. It's Beyblade Metal Fusion. Now, Beyblade Metal Fusion is the best high-performance spinning toy on the market. Isn't that right, lads? Yes! Now, tell me, why is this so cool? Well, because when you hit the opponent, it keeps on spinning. So it's the one that's left standing at the end. The one that's still spinning is the winner. Yeah. And how many of these have you got? Uh, we've got two so far, Lightning Pegasus and Dark Ball. And Lightning Pegasus doesn't have hardly any speed, but it has the best attack. And um, I probably will always win with it. And Dark Ball just has speed. It doesn't take it to stay. So the defense armor is better than having the speed? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then could you add bits onto that as well and kind of just grow the, the metal and the armour? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic stuff. Now, if you want the chance to win a Pegasus Whip Stadium and a whole selection of Beyblades, just answer this question. For your chance to win the Beyblades prize, just tell us what is the name of the Beyblades Battle Arena? Is it A, Pegasus Thunder Whip, B, Stallion Storm Slap, or C, Donkey Derby Drum? If you think you know the answer, just click on the Beyblades logo. Good luck. Well, that's all we've got time for on Toyology.tv. I'm going to let these twins battle it out until the early hours of the morning, and we will see you next time for more reviews of the coolest toys. See you again soon. You've had it, son.